when I got into investment banking, it was A, the industry fascinated me. I love the purity of being able to create value for a client, then get paid for creating value. And I love the pace at which investment banking operated. You coupled that dynamic where it was an industry that I was fascinated with and I very quickly became passionate about with a team that you know I aspired to be like and a team that motivated me, people that I really liked working with. That was what kickstarted my career in financial services. You know, when you think about graduating from university and you've just spent four years or whatever program you've done, the t length of time that you've invested into getting educated, it's a tough reality, but when you start working, you have to realize that you don't know anything. You know, that entire degree or diploma that you've gone, that you've worked to get, they've taught you a number of skills and some basic knowledge, but you're about to go into the workforce. Going into that workforce is an entirely different reality. All of that training and that work that you were, that you went through your program to get, now you need to figure out how do you learn the skills that are applicable to the job that you're getting into. And I think that's a real recognition people need to work through. At TMX Group, we actually run something called our Associates Program, where we'll bring us uh, junior associates in and run them through three different three-month rotations within the organization. So things like internship programs, hands-on training, it allows people to test and experiment and see, is this something I'm really interested in doing? Or did I maybe have a, a misconception when I started going into university? Millennials as a generation, and even the generation below millennials coming into the workforce, there's that natural curiosity and a willingness to challenge everything and challenge the status quo, not be happy with the way things are done, and always want to find a way to do things more efficiently. And I think about the rise of cryptocurrency and blockchain as a great example. When security token offerings started going out there and people started saying, hey, we can have 24 seven trading and instantaneous settlement, and it's gonna be great, it's gonna disrupt the public markets. Okay, those are nice things to talk about, but there's a reason that we have focused windows of liquidity for trading public equities. And it's because you need to be able to let companies disseminate information when a stock's not trading. And it's because you need to be able to focus liquidity to a limited time frame. And so there's reasons that we actually have limited time windows for trading these stocks. There's these fundamental little tests that are in there that need to be understood as we try to think about, okay, how do we improve our businesses? How do we think about leveraging that constant wanting to challenge the status quo, um, but understanding some of the core, the core boundaries that are there and why things are done that way. When you look forward 10 years, we're just going to see the continued acceleration of these alternative data sources. And so people coming out of university now need to be able to understand, need to be able to filter through this depth of data, this ocean that's out there to be able to find the pieces that are meaningful and the pieces that actually should be driving decisions one way or the other. And that's not just exclusive to financial markets because you know, some of these data sources will help with management decisions, will help with operational decisions. New graduates, their ability to find these data sources, to be able to source them and interpret, interpret the depth of data that's out there. And it's, it's a lot of data. To be able to interpret that into something that's a meaningful decision is going to be crucial do something that you're passionate about with people that you want to work with. Everything gets accomplished by building a team and building support and following around you. So you need to be a team player, you need to be able to work with others, and you need to be able to you know, be a self-starter and be individually motivated, but work with a team to help that whole team get from you know, where you are today to where you ultimately want to go.